you can make custom Instagram stories right inside Adobe Premiere, but you want to make sure that you have these settings in place before you hit the export button. And if you've already made a horizontal video, don't worry, I'll show you how to use that too. That's what's coming up on this episode, so stick around. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep your skills sharp. The first thing you want to do in Adobe Premiere is to import the footage that you want to use. I shot this vertical video using my phone, I imported it onto my computer and then dragged it into Adobe Premiere. As you can see from the preview monitor here, this was shot vertically up and down 9x16 orientation. I'm going to take this clip, right click it and go to new sequence from clip. And then Adobe Premiere is automatically going to take those settings of the clip and turn them into a sequence so that when you export it, it'll fit nicely into your Instagram story. Next thing I want to do is I want to trim the clip, make sure it starts and stops exactly where I want it to. There, now that's done. I can also go to my essential graphics panel and add any titles that I want. I'm gonna do a quick full video link in bio here. Now once that's done, I'm gonna to go to File, Export, Media. All the default settings here should work just fine. I've got the format set to H.264 and the preset set to Match Source. I also like to make sure that I've got render at maximum depth and use max render quality checked. For Instagram stories, it might not matter so much, but I just like to use those as a best practice. Once those are all set, I can click export and Adobe Premiere is gonna export the file. Now let's say you've already made a video and you've shot it in horizontal or edited it as a horizontal video and you wanna use that story for your Instagram. Well, you can still do it. There's a couple different ways. I've got this video here. I'm gonna show you, double click it. This is another YouTube video I'd made and I want to use part of this clip for my Instagram story. Freelancer or Upwork is post-production work, whereas production... So I've got this queued up with my ins and out points there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this video. I'm going to do new sequence from clip. Now what this is actually going to do, it's going to take that short blocked out sequence that I set my in and out points for and it's going to create the video sequence for me. Now you see that the sequence over here is traditional 16 by 9 and not the 916 that we need for our Instagram stories. I'm going to right click the sequence that was just made with that clip. I'm going to go to sequence settings. In here we can change from the 169 aspect ratio to the 916 aspect ratio by flipping these two numbers, the 1920 by 1080. So where it says 1920, I'm going to go there and type 1080. Where it says 1080, I'm going to go 1920. And we see that the aspect ratio here has changed to 916. Everything else should stay the same. I'm going to click OK. Click OK to any errors that pop up. Cool. We might want to do a few things here to tweak this. We can see that the sides were cropped off. And we've got a transparent background here. Uh, and we don't really want that. There's a couple different ways to fix this. What I'm going to do here is copy this video clip and I just want the video so I'm gonna unlink the copied file delete the audio move this video up drag this newly copied video over change the color of that newly copied video with the black and white effect Go to my effects controls window. Change the scale of my grayscale video. I'm gonna do it at about 200. Let's see what that gets us. I'm also gonna add a blur effect. Uh, Gaussian blur, take it back there. I'm gonna do a blur of 10, let's do a blur of 25. And then I'm gonna change the size of the video up front so that everything's fitting on the screen. I think this works out to about 55, yeah, 56, yeah, 57. You might need to tweak that a little bit. I'll blur the background just slightly more so it's not as prominent through. Take that slider, bring it to the front, and then see how the video looks. Most of the work found on Freelancer or Upwork is post-production work. So that's one way you can do it. Let's say you don't want to do that with the video in the background. You maybe want to put some text there. I'm going to delete that gray video I just put there. I'm going to go over to my project bin, click the new item button, click uh, color mat. I'm going to select the black color mat, click OK. Drag that color mat 
over to my timeline underneath the video. So now I've got a color mat there on my video and then what I can do is use the text tool, click on my video, add whatever text I want, change the settings for those and then follow the exact same export settings. Go to file, export, media. Again, set your format to H.264, preset match source high bit rate, render at max depth and use max render quality export. So that's how you set up your Adobe Premiere project to export for Instagram stories. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep your skills sharp, make sure you subscribe to the channel. My name is Steve Kwasinski and I'll see you next time.